Hey everyone, it's John Reed, author of 50 Things to See with a Telescope and 50 Things to See on the Moon. Welcome to the Homeschool Astronomy Challenge series. In this video, we're going to learn to observe the full moon. This is Learn to Stargaze. The moon can be a nuisance to stargazers, lighting up the sky and obscuring the stars, so when the moon is up, you might as well observe it. We'll talk about the phases of the moon and other lunar events in future videos, but for now, all you need to know is that a full moon occurs when the moon is on the far side of the Earth from the sun. So how do you know when the full moon is about to occur? Hey Siri, when is the next full moon? The next full moon will be at 2.22 a.m. Wednesday, September 2nd, 2020. The full moon always rises in the east at sunset and sets in the west around sunrise. If you're following along in the 50 things to see with a telescope activity workbook, the moon section begins on page 48. You've probably all seen the full moon before, watched it rise above a distant hill, and it looks huge, doesn't it? This is an illusion. It's your brain telling you the moon looks bigger than normal because it looks huge next to faraway objects like trees and buildings. But the moon is no larger when it rises than when it's high in the sky. Indigenous peoples often use the moon as a calendar, with the word moon being used almost interchangeably with the word month. They've given names to the moons that typically correspond to what occurs in nature during that lunar cycle. You may be familiar with the harvest moon or the hunter's moon, but I live in eastern North America and the Mi'kmaq people would call our latest full moon and current lunar cycle the bird shedding feathers moon. Okay, so this video has two challenges. First, every time you see the full moon, whether at moonrise or later when it's high in the sky, reach out at arm's length and cover the moon with the tip of your little finger. You'll soon notice that all full moons can be covered with the tip of your pinky, even the so-called super moons. The second challenge is to draw as many details of the lunar surface that you can see without using a telescope. If you're using the workbook, use the corner of page 50. Save page 51 for when you're using a telescope. So what do you see? A man, a rabbit, Wilma Flintstone? There will be many more episodes on observing the moon. So please subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And remember, the future is looking up.